Hard. Hi, friends. Good morning. Oh, I see. Is that a new haircut? Mm -hmm. um, Carter. Hey, hey, Carter, that looks cool, dude. I like that. I like yours too, Clark. Don't worry. But it, I just noticed a difference. Cool. I wish I could do that with my hair. Do you think I should get that haircut? Yes. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think it would look so good on me like it does on you guys. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. Everybody's coming in a little bit slowly today, but that's okay. It's a beautiful day. I expect people to be going out and doing stuff. So well, how, how do we get the background? Um, you go down, mommy probably knows how to do it, but you go down to under the video and hit the up arrow and then it gives you more and then you can choose a virtual background. Yeah, I know that we can choose. You can do that too. You guys are so tech savvy now. Oh my goodness. You guys know what to do, right? Uh -huh. You probably know better than us adults. <laughs> so, all right. Yes, you do. Okay. Why don't we get started? I'm going to do um, screen share. I want us to sing a song. All right. Because it's a really good song. It's fun. I'm going to mute you guys though, just so that we can hear the music better. Okay. So here we go. Mute. Continue. Here we go. Great. Sorry, guys. Am I frozen again? Do not tell me. Oh, come on. Sorry, friends. My my internet again is like a little crazy. Let's go. Thank you. 
today you can have a lot of fun with balloons right maybe you guys have some at home you could do this later um, sometimes there's different shapes right you could have a round one you know the long skinny ones that you can make those animals with you guys like those well, one time I had a birthday party and then I blew a balloon up but I never tied it and then and then and then it just flew all over the oh, place. Oh no! Yeah, like with a happy. I like when it flies all over. Once you do it, it flies all over. And then they, they. Yeah, and what? And when you let it go, it flies away, right? <laughs> okay, so this is a very nice balloon. It's pretty. It's a nice white balloon. Remember, we talked about the Holy Spirit last week, that, like represented by the white dove. So that's why I picked white. Um. So this balloon needs what? What needs to be put inside? Air. air. You're right. It's got to be filled with air. But before this balloon can fulfill its purpose, someone's got to breathe life into it. So I guess that's me today, right? Since I'm here. If you guys were here, I'd give you guys a balloon and you could blow them up. Okay, so I think this balloon can help us learn something about the church. Okay, so today is a very special day we call Pentecost. Can you guys say Pentecost? Pentecost. Pentecost. Okay, so that's kind of a big word. It's a very special day that God sent his Holy Spirit. Remember we talked about the Holy Spirit? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Excellent. So what it is is the church, God sent his Holy Spirit to breathe life into the church so that the church would be all that God wanted it to be. Now, Sometimes the church doesn't do exactly what they were supposed to do, right, friends? Sometimes it, it's like they weren't telling people about Jesus. They were kind of flat like this balloon, right? So he was sent the Holy Spirit. All right, I'll fill it up a little bit. Okay, the church was kind of lifeless, but let's see what happens. All right. So um, the church wasn't witnessing and telling people about Jesus. But after the Holy Spirit breathed into the church, people began telling everyone they saw about Jesus. Oh, it's looking a little bigger. Everyone told, they told about Jesus, understood what they were saying. And thousands of people were added to the church. Sometimes it didn't even matter if they spoke the same language. The church started growing and becoming more alive and was doing the things that God commanded. See that? All right, let's tie this off. Now, <laughs> does this look better, friends? Yeah. This looks a lot better, right? Oh, yeah. This is like how God wants us to be. Remember the, I'll show you one that's flat again. We don't want to look like this for Jesus, right? Where there's no air. What does the air represent in this balloon today? What did we say it was? Holy. Lily? The Holy Spirit. The Holy, air um, represents the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. So God wants us to be filled up 
with the Holy Spirit. Hi, Jez. Not with ourselves necessarily. Okay, we want God to fill us up, the Holy Spirit to tell us what to do to be effective. Okay, so after that, after God sent his Holy Spirit and filled up the church, they were telling everyone and they were speaking different languages. So it's very important to breathe life into your balloon. Remember that just as the balloon needs to be filled up, you and I need the Holy Spirit so we can be all that God wants us to be, right? When you trust God and you call on his name to forgive you, you can become just like this and the Holy Spirit comes into you, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's look at our verse. It says, all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. So maybe some people were there from different countries and they wanted to talk to them, but have you ever tried to speak a different language to somebody before and they didn't understand you? Has anybody ever done that before? Yes. I have, like I don't speak Spanish very well at all and I'm trying to speak and speak and they can't understand me and I can't understand them. It's really hard to tell them about okay. everything, right? Yeah, so it's really important. So what the Holy Spirit did is he, they gave them a lot of different languages. And, and, and different kind of books. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So what we can do, I'll put this down for one second. All right, let me show you. I want to show you guys um, a video. Oops, Josh, no, are here. Let me add them in. We want to show you a video about different languages. So you're going to have to open your ears and listen up. And we are going to be um, listening and guessing. Now, in the video... Good morning, Josh and Noah. Um, in the video, it's kind of a little muffled and she says to go to the right side of the room or the left side of the room, but um, you don't have to do that. You can just tell me what you guys think. You can raise your hand and answer for me, okay? So we're talking about the Holy Spirit coming at Pentecost, filling up the, air, filling up the church just like this balloon and giving them different languages so they could tell others about Jesus, okay? All right, let's look at that. And it's just a quick video. So you guys, you don't have to go to the other side of the room like we would if you were here at church with me. But you can raise your hand and tell me what language you think it is. So are you guys ready to open your ears and listen up? Yes. Okay, let's see. We can do it. Okay, hold on one second, guys. Sorry. Here we go. It's time to play Different Tongues. Each round, we will say the following phrase. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved in a different tongue or language. You will have to guess which language it was said in. You will go to the side of the room that represents what you think the correct answer is. We're ready for round one. Are you? Please stand in the middle of the room. After you hear, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved in another language, move to the side of the room that you think is the correct answer. Okay, so she's going to have two different languages and they're going to say it. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, okay? All right, so listen up and you guys decide. And I'm trying to move us around here, but for some reason I can't seem to move us. Hmm. Let me see. Sorry, friends. This is how technology, here we go. I'm trying to move us out of the way so you can see the different languages here. Okay, ready? Is everybody ready? Let's see thumbs up. Ready? Okay, listening ears open so we can hear the languages. It's gonna be really interesting, okay? If you think that was French, go to the right side of the room. If you think that was Spanish, go to the left side of the room. You have 10 seconds to vote. I'm holding my right hand because I wanted to go to the right. If you voted French, you were right. 
Yay, right. Go back right. to the middle of the room now. French. It was French. Okay. Now for round two. After you hear, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved in another language, move to the side of the room that you think is the correct answer. If you think that was Vietnamese, go to the right side of the room. If you think that was Chinese, go to the left side of the room. You have 10 seconds to vote. If you voted Chinese, you were right. How did you do? Did you do Chinese? Did every, oh, it's hard to know, right? Please go back to the middle of the room now. Okay, last one. Okay, line. now for our last round. After you hear, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved in another language. Move to the side of the room that you think is the correct answer. And listen up. If you think that was German, go to the right side of the room. If you think it was Russian, go to the left side of the room. You have 10 seconds to vote. <laughs> if you think that was German, you were right. Please go back to the middle of the room now. How did you do? <laughs> did you guess correctly? Today's message is everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Let's hear it in some other languages. Listen up. Arabic. No matter the language, the message stays the same. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Amen. That is so true, right, friends? Everybody who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Can we say that together now? Oops, let me um, unmute you guys. Okay, so the verses. <clears throat> I have the Bible here. I see our Explorer's Bible. It's Acts 2, 21. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. So everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Should we say it together? Who's ready to say it with me? Can I say thumbs up? Thumbs up. Okay. Awesome. Ready? All right, let's say it together the first part. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Shall be saved. Awesome. That's Acts 2.21. Acts 2.21. Okay, so we say it one more time. Let's say it all straight through, okay? I'll say it. And then you copy after me, okay? All right. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ready? Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. <laughs> All right. Acts 2.21. Acts 2.21. Excellent, friends. That is exactly right. So, what did we learn about the church today and the Holy Spirit? What did the church start doing when they got the Holy Spirit in them? They, um, what is it called? They, uh, what did they start doing? Do you guys remember? Oh, they were like opening up to other people. Mm -hmm. And they were telling them about who? Jesus. Jesus, and they were using different languages, right? Isn't that so yeah. cool? That is so neat. Okay, so remember this balloon idea. You don't want to be this balloon this week, right? The flat one? 
You want to be this one with the Holy Spirit in you, okay? Tell others about Jesus. All right, let's pray together, friends. What do we do when we pray? We put our hands together. We close our eyes. And we think about Jesus. Okay, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you that you give us safety and security through your Holy Spirit and comfort. Jesus, be with all these children this week. We love them so, so much. In your name, amen. Amen. Okay, friends, if you want to find um, videos uh, to sing along to at home, if you go tell, ask mommy and daddy to go on YouTube and look up group VBS Roar songs uh, 2019, you remember from last year? And they can play those for you at home too, okay? That way you can sing along and have fun at home. I know you guys, sometimes you want to do different things and you can do it in your living room and have fun together, okay? Does anybody have any questions? Anything they want to say before we sign off? No. Okay. All right, I'm going to miss you guys. Let's say bye to everybody now, okay? Bye, Aiden. Bye, Aiden. Bye, bye. bye Jazz. Bye, Jazz. Bye, Clark and Carter. Bye, Clark and Carter. Bye, Lily. Bye. I think that might be Art and Edie. Bye, Mr. Art and Miss Edie. Bye. Bye. Okay, friends, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next Saturday, okay? All right, bye. Okay, thank you.